Ladies and gentlemen, at COP22 in 2016 in Marrakesh, His Excellency Denis Sassou Nguesso, President of the Republic of Congo, announced the launch of a large-scale initiative to preserve the Congo Basin. A year later, I was pleased to witness the signing of the memorandum creating the Congo Basin Blue Fund by 10 African heads of state and governments. Today, that visionary idea has been transformed into a sustainable and practical solution available to 16 countries of the Congo Basin with the support of the Kingdom of Morocco. The Brazzaville Foundation has been involved in this project since the very beginning. It made me aware of the enormous potential of the Congo Basin, the second lung and first carbon sink on the planet. The preservation of the Congo Basin is a global challenge to mitigate the effects of climate change and an African challenge to protect the biodiversity of the great forests and of the Roa and to ensure the well-being of its inhabitants. Following the Paris Agreements, COP26 is an essential event to raise awareness of the realities of climate change. Like Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, I believe that action is better than words on this issue. And that's why I'd like to congratulate all those who have acted within the Congo Basin Climate Commission to finalize this great project. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to support the development of real-time actions of global and African levels and to continue to promote the Congo Basin. Welcome to COP26 in Glasgow.